Sharks are an important part of the ecosystem. They're apex predators. If we have a diversity of sharks, we're gonna have a diversity of animals that they prey upon. The healthy ocean needs healthy shark populations. Biologist Randall Arouse founded the marine conservation organization, Pertoma, to save sea turtles. After a colleague on a long line fishing boat shot some disturbing footage, everything changed. The first time I saw the shark finning video, I was just stunned. They hack off the fins, they throw the shark overboard, and I was speechless. It was the catalyst that made us get into shark conservation. 100 million sharks are killed each year to feed the growing demand for shark fin soup in Asia. Taiwanese ships tow long lines baited with hooks to ensnare thousands of sharks in a single haul. In 2003, Pertoma secretly filmed a Taiwanese ship illegally landing 33 tons of shark fins in the middle of the night. When we came up with this video, we were able to tell the Costa Ricans, look, this is what's going on. It's happening right under our nose with the consent of our fishery authorities. Randall has been threatened for his anti-shark finning activities. At $200 per pound, the illegal trade in shark fin is big business. In 2004 alone, Costa Rica exported 8,000 tons of fin, making it the third largest supplier to the Asian market. These docks are privately owned. And in Costa Rica, the law says if you import products, you must import them into a public facility. But under the blanket of private property, it's impossible to make the laws be abided by. And the only people who are benefited by this are people who are breaking the law. Costa Ricans were shocked when they saw those videos. Pretoma's awareness campaign led to many protests and congressional legislation mandating that sharks must be landed with their fins naturally attached to their bodies. This progressive legislation has been recognized worldwide. In spite of this enormous victory, Arouse had to continue his battle in the courtroom. Finally, in 2006, Costa Rica's highest court ruled in his favor against the National Fisheries Institute, Customs, and the Public Transportation Ministries. But Pretoma still had to fight corrupt government officials who refused to enforce the new law or use loopholes to get around it. It's gonna be three years since we filed our lawsuit for contempt. And it's pretty incredible that we still don't have a resolution. We really need Costa Rica to consolidate a position. Are we gonna be the shark savers of the world or are we gonna be the culprits? There are tremendous challenges in conservation work and many people quit because they can face the incredible odds. Randall is one of the tireless fighters who is not afraid to fail and will not stop fighting until he dies. Randall aligned himself with members of Congress and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in order to bring the Costa Rican shark finning policy to the United Nations. And we were able to get the United Nations General Assembly to call on all the nations of the world to land their sharks with the fins attached. Randall has taken Costa Rica from being a leader in shark finning to being a global leader in shark preservation. We believe that fisheries can be sustainable and small-scale artisanal fisheries directed at species that have high turnover rates is what the government of Costa Rica should be focusing on. So here we have a contrast, you know, foreign fishermen wiping out our fishing resources, and then we have the locals doing a sustainable fishery that's a much greater social economic benefit for everyone. For outstanding environmental achievement in South and Central America, the 2010 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Randall Arauz, San Jose, Costa Rica.